Hello from Chicago, Alan Nuckman high above the trading floor at the CME Group talking energy focusing on crude oil. Positive crude, November crude up 75 cents at 51.40 today. High today 51.70, low 50.70. So a somewhat quiet session with a dollar range here, but it is a gain on the week and most importantly, holding above that $50 level. Number one, let's talk about the down dollar. I think that's been overlooked here. We did have a six week high in the dollar last week, but a reversal and it's come down since that time. So that's important because that can be positive for commodities. Example here, gold's up $25 on the week. We've also seen a, cr seen a crude climb because anything priced in dollars uh, has, a, has better value here for, for foreign investors and they can have more purchasing power. So like I said, that euro currency had a reversal last week and now it's at two week highs at the highest level that we've seen since the end of September and that can very much bode as a positive uh, from a commodity standpoint. Keep an eye on that. We saw some strong inflation numbers today uh, that uh, hurt the dollar as well um, and uh, the CPI numbers came out at about half a percent which is uh, double more than double what was expected so look for this dollar to make another test on those recent lows after we had this minor minor bounce. Secondly let's talk about the rig count down. Uh, U.S. oil and gas rig count for this week dropped by five. That's not a whole lot, but it is a downward trend. We've seen a 20 rig count drop in the last week, last eight weeks, which is interesting in itself because we've seen crude oil hold around this $50 level for almost all of the last 30 days. Yes, we did have a couple of days where it dipped down below, but now it's back above that important pivot that we've talked about over and over again. Looking in the big picture, the rig rise has been 311 uh, rigs from a year ago at this time, but prices have bounced back and we haven't seen possibly as much uh, return to pumping as people had might have thought. Lastly, let's talk about some fundamentals here that are driving the market. Uh, the China, China import climb, uh, the September oil imports in China grew by 18.7% over last September. So that's a big number. They, they were expecting 13.5%, which is uh, a healthy increase, and it, uh, it, it exceeded that dramatically. Now, what that means to me is that, that we're getting continued demand and an expansion of that demand because we're getting a greater economic activity and China is a great example of that. Look here in the States and you can see how the stock market has come, uh, you know, come storming back. We're up making new highs almost every single day now. So the macro markets are very positive. That can translate into more business activity, which translates into more demand for oil. So that should be a uh, underlying supportive current. So net net all of this crude oil back above $50 a barrel holding after testing it on Thursday getting very close and then bouncing higher closing today around 51.50 or so. Let's remember that that 52.90 is the top from September 28th when we had talked about 53 as their key resistance. So keep an eye let the markets tell us where we're going next 50 support 53 resistance. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group.